climate change is in fact a national security issue. We need to change how we think about this. Do I think man is causing global warming? No. That doesn't make any difference. I want clean water and I want clean air. And that's so simple. We've been doing it one way for the last hundred years, but we've got to be thinking about what's the technology for the next hundred years. This is a very complex, high-tech operation. You take the extension cord, plug it into the car. <laughs> the lights are on right now geothermally. It cost me about $12 a day to refrigerate this place. If you did it on diesel fuel standard, it would be $750 a day. For Roscoe, I guess we bottomed out when we lost our Dairy Queen. We sat here and pray for rain and cuss the wind. Now what we've been cussing all these years turned out to be a blessing. There's no question that these technologies are going to grow very quickly. The question is who's going to get the business? China is likely to be there well ahead of us. What we need to be worried about is whether or not we're keeping up with them. I see the United States having almost a full employment economy based on retrofitting a nation. You don't have to be concerned about climate change or terrorism or anything. You don't want to drive at 10% of the cost of what you're driving at now. So if you don't give a damn about the environment, do it because you're a greedy bastard and you just want cheap power. You might could say I did it all single-handedly, see? It's the best thing that ever happened to me. It's the most patriotic thing you can be, do, think, or feel today. Green Baby is the new red, white, and blue. This is no longer the purview of Birkenstock wearing tree huggers. Not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs>